This is the History of New Zealand podcast on the Eat to My Own Beat podcast network. Welcome back to episode 17 of the History of New Zealand podcast. Option of becoming a state within the Commonwealth of Australia. The Premier of New Zealand, Richard Seddon, opposed the idea of uniting the colonies. He set up a royal commission on the topic in 1900. Despite some support of becoming, for becoming Aust- an Australian state from the farming community which feared new trade restrictions if New Zealand did not unite with Australia, there were a majority of opposition to the idea. The prevailing opinion was that Australians were more economic rivals than partners. When New Zealand's trade began being mostly within the United Kingdom, New Zealand remained a separate colony when the Commonwealth of Australia was created on the 1st of January 1901, ushering in the 20th century. Dominion status. In 1907, New Zealand underwent a change of name to be known as a dominion instead of a colony. Dominion status was seen by some as a public mark of the responsible self-governance that evolved over the half of a century. However, the change was not universally popular with others seeing it it as unnecessary. Just under 1 million people lived in New Zealand in 1907, and cities such as Auckland and Wellington were growing rapidly. Thank you for listening to the History of New Zealand podcast. We're found on YouTube and anywhere else you could find your normal podcasts. Please like, comment, and subscribe, or find us at www.eattomyownbeat.com.